no pulse. That must mean a stupid set for the fact that I'm reviewing Pulse! The movie where electronics get haunted and there's not a single computer in the whole thing. What? Oh yeah, the 1988 movie Pulse. We start off seeing this post-apocalyptic looking scene getting struck by lightning and then around some power plant. And it has a lot to do with the plot of this movie. No it doesn't! It has nothing to do with it at all! We get some guy screaming his head off while trashing his house, waking up the neighbors. The police arrive, but he's quite dead by then, and we get the disturbing shot of the back of his head! Oh, I did not need to see that. I don't apologize ever for showing disturbing things on these videos, but that? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Then we get introduced to the main character, played by Joey Lawrence. Um, Blossom. Dancing with the stars joke. He's playing the most depressing kid in the world, visiting his father and his new wife, played by Connor McCloud's girlfriend and the father from Flight of the Navigator, who's also a former singer. Again? We had three police cars, an ambulance, a fire engine, and a TV cameraman from one of the stations. What happened? Wait a minute, we're almost home, I'll show you. There. See? <gasps> His lawn care is rubbish! It's awful! What happened? A fire? Yeah, sure looks like it was a fire. Except for the lack of burns. Where you and Dad lived before didn't have all these bars in the windows. Yes, we get it. The bars will trap him later. Moving on. This is your room. So what do you think? Don't you like it? It has a lot of mushrooms in it. Ooh, mushrooms? Okay. Um, what's up? What do you mean? You've been so down ever since you got here. Yeah, just a bit. You really should have come to Colorado. And, and then you could stay with us at our house. You know that's not possible. I know. Then you shouldn't have said it! Your know, mom doesn't have any of that stuff. What, the microwave you mean? She says it can make you sterile. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, it's not true. Oh, microwaves don't make you sterile? I, I think I'm gonna kill myself. We'll make a lemon meringue pie. Finally, he's happy. Oh, too late. What's this? It's a VHS tape. They aren't that confusing. Oh, uh, we rented a movie and then David found out there's a Dodgers game tonight. And then he found out there's a Dodgers game on... What does that have to do with... Just go on! So before they feel like killing themselves as well, Bill and Ellen take off while David... Pitch to Mike Marshall. Base in, left field! Okay, I'm all for the chocolate overload, but could you make more of a mess with that? Yeah! I didn't mean do it, you old shit! Hi, Louis the Lightning Bug here. And one thing for sure, and I ought to know, you gotta play your face around the power line! If I change the channel enough, that static... static will go away. So he goes to the computer for the rest of the ball game. Oops, 1988, right? He gets a portable radio. Pretty much the same. But now the house is... Infected with... The electricity virus? Causing the TV to turn back on, playing random sounds and displaying a blue dot, making lines. But the main thing is we see circuits are frying and melting, which we all know means... It'll burn out and stop working. Oh, I mean it's evil now. Not as evil as the dryer, though. Oh, for once we got a blast out of something on this show. Bill and Ellen get home, though, and they find the TV won't shut off. What caused it to short out? 90 volt drop-offs, 130 volt spikes. Pulses, they're called. Ooh, see what he did there? I don't have a goddamn clue what happened to your TV set. 
You got enough chips in there to send the spaceship to Saturn. I know, I'd write my TV to Saturn right now. But I don't feel like it. You know what I do? I read the book. How did you get this job again? Oh, whoops, we called incompetence TV repair, I see. Oh, that didn't impress the random kids. Well, maybe going the other way will. Play your cards, little buddy. You gotta play your face around the power line. Ow! <laughs> Wait, what are we laughing at? <gasps> That was bad. So bad. My name's Steve. Also known as Joey's younger brother, Matthew. He's in this movie, so he can be in this movie. See all that grass is dead and everything? He used to say we did that. My mom said he was crazy because what happened to his wife. What? Man, that was bad. So bad. Did you turn on the guard with the disposal? There's something stuck in it. It shot that male thing right up into her face. Isn't that bad? It's so bad. Why could that have happened to me? I don't even see him, you know? He works all day, and then when he gets home, he's tired, and all he wants to do is watch television or something. Uh-oh, I guess some father-son bonding scenes are coming up then, right? Nope. The next day, we find out the grass around the house is dying, just like the house across the street. Obviously, this must be the power line's fault. So it's investigating time. Stevie, get back here, right now! Stevie! No way! Stevie! Thanks, Stevie. You'll receive an award for your contribution to this movie. Once we figure out what it is. So David discovers they're really doing a piss-poor job fixing up this house when... What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, that jump scare is really amusing. Did it talk to you? A voice in the wires. Ah, this guy knows what's going on, so we'll finally get an explanation here. I know what I know, boy, but I'm not telling it. I have a comment about what just happened there, but I'm not telling it. David went over to the Jordan house oh. this afternoon. He's met some crazy old man in the Jordan house and- He's not crazy! How could you call him crazy when he told me? He's not telling it. David acts like a complete shit when his dad tries to take him back in. Kind of surprising. I thought he'd welcome death. Aren't you supposed to take this back? When there was something wrong with the tape. It must have happened when the TV set broke. Uh-oh! What could this mean? You sure you don't want to come over with me to the campus? You could walk around. What? I thought he wanted to get away from the house. I guess his suicide instincts have kicked back in. Cobras are attacking the tower dome. Want to play? Come on, you can be the Cobras. No. Okay, you can be the G.I. Joes. Yo, Joe! Wait, what? Joe! Why do you want to go to the airport? Is there a bus or something? Are you going back to Colorado? Yeah. So what are you going to do? Why, you little shit. Also, Bill and Ellen both drove out. Why is there a third car? David decides not to be that amazingly stupid. However, the little shit managed to lock himself in the garage. Either that or the power did it. And it also tries to gas him. <laughs> Trying to blow himself up, David tries staring the car. But when that doesn't work, he tries to get hit by Ellen, who always tears into the driveway. But that fails as well. So now I'm going to turn the main back on, relight all your pilots. I have the pilot! I mean, you don't know what's really happening here, hey, do you? Hey. This is all your fault, random repair guy! I heard something else. Something growing inside the house, getting stronger. So Ellen explains she stayed up all night listening to the electricity in the house and is now as crazy as David. She then puts in that rental movie and... goes to have a meaningful talk with not telling it. Lady, I didn't tell nobody around here nothing. Ah, uh, double negative, so he told someone around here something. Or wait, triple negative, so he told somebody nothing? Anyway, Ellen cries and then he's telling the nothing. Pull all the plug. It don't just crawl in on your wires. It's a signal. Pulse. 
Name drop. I'm back to wood fires and kerosene lamps. Is that seriously the explanation we're going to get? Electricity is evil? The Amish don't make movies, do they? What the hell do I know? I'm crazy. Wait! Hey! You forgot the power glove! I love the power glove. It's so bad. <laughs> Does anyone have a clue why they're laughing in this movie? But the power now thinks Ellen knows too much and tries to boil her in the shower! It also shows the ability to lock doors again, too. The master of locking. I gotta get something to break it! A lamp. Seriously? I'm amazed it didn't break. You could have kicked it, you could have used the top of the toilet tank, David's head, or anything other than a lamp! So Ellen got burned! But her face still did amazingly well. David stays at the neighbor's and asks his dad to stay there the night as well. He agrees, but later on decides to go back to the house and... wander around aimlessly. He sees the TV and we finally find out the significance of the tape. FBI warning. It plays fine. Thanks for that build up to nothing. Bill then shows how amazingly smart he is by seeing glass falling into the act of garbage disposal and stands there watching it. What kind of reaction was that? Oh, okay. Perhaps he's where David got his depression from. Oh, Bill just got screwed! David also wanders over to find out the rental movie was Starman. Stop it, stop it, stop it! So that was the real payoff. A light beam comes out and annoys him. <sighs> David tries to get out and when a lamp fails to break the bars on the window, he knows he's screwed, but screws up dying again. My little buddies know they don't go here. Gotta play the around electricity. Okay, who has these houses that lock you inside them, really? Bill then proceeds to not play it safe around the power lines, and the police show up and threaten to shoot him over it. I think there's a few options you could go to before that. Power lines out the blues, cause they're feeling down. We have the blues, cause we're feeling down. So when the lines are down, don't you hang around? When we're down, don't hang around. You must both be crazy. Yes, we are. We're both of us. We are. Aren't we? We're crazy. <laughs> we're... Yeah. <laughs> no reason for the laughing to start making any sense now! <laughs> We outfucked them! So when I unplugged, this lightning bug would never pull the cord! <laughs> we gotta be cool with cords! Yeah. yeah! Oh, so they didn't manage to destroy electricity. I'm so surprised. Though the pulse only managed to kill one person at the start that we didn't know off screen. Quite a ridiculously tame horror movie, but. They all don't have to be a bloodbath with a really pointless body count, but wow, this was just meh. All the electricity or pulse does on screen is injure Ellen, and then Bill and David both injure themselves running around being idiots. This movie sets no mood whatsoever, and the story is just bland as hell. This whole movie might as well have just been someone saying, Electricity is evil. Be scared of it. In that tone, too, because that's about the impact this garbage is. So join me next week where we'll take a look at Pulse. The other one. It's gotta be better than this one, right? Right? Stop it! Stop it! That...
tells that, and oh, look, I got my pulse back. is good. Oh, no. I died of old age waiting for something to happen. Makes sense to me.